This is the Digitally Rebastard Network. Howdy game meds and welcome to another episode of Winning the West with me your host Eli Williams here in Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode and we are down by the Gray Manor near Caliga Hall and I am uh, meeting Mr. John Marsden uh, to take care of some business with some horses I believe. So we are making our way down to see him. And uh, here he is. Like you. You don't know me. You turn up in this town, and you're helping everybody. And everywhere, there's trouble. Who are you? And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Oh, goodness. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. So over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Oh, boy. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Okay, here we go. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. Haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. I'm the So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. Make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment 
with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Yeah. Well, that was easy. So much for security at Braithwaite Manor. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Yeah, because riding three guys armed to the teeth riding across a field at almost a full gallop isn't isn't gonna bring attention. <laughs> That's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. Okay. Let me do the talking. Uh, let me get my guns out. <laughs> Let's see, I think this probably calls for shotgun and Lancaster. All right. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Hot greaser, huh? That's all okay. that's done. Bandana's on. Don't need no. Bandana's on. Buddy recognizes. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy there. Easy. easy. Marston, you're gonna take it easy there. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. There, boy. Okay, so far so good. Marston, you right point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here. I got the back. What the hell you doing? Stop! Stop! Whoop it! Two guys coming up. Go left. The Look there. The fence is down. Come on. Let's try to lose them in the trees. I 
think I shot him. <laughs> Pretty sure I shot him. Most of them. to do keep going I'll get him yeah good girl Easy. hey hey now come here On. Hey, now. Come here. Can I tether him? What am I supposed to do here? Tether him. Hey Morgan! Over here! Oh, this is a this well looks like this is a nice horse. Lemon's Cove's just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <laughs> Amen you think to that. They look like they're paying five thousand for horses. I guess we'll see. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 650 for them. I was told we could get up to $5,000 for him. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. 
I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Well, something's better than nothing, I guess. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. All right. Well, let's see. What didn't I do right? I probably didn't do it in enough time. Catch the stallion within 10 seconds. Yeah. Mm, oh, well. You know, that's okay. Camp funds. 1165. What was my share? I didn't see it. Oh, well. I got money. I'm not hurting. <laughs> I've got over 10 grand. Almost 11, so... Hey, back in uh, 1899, not too shabby. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Curse, smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of the Digitally Rebastard Network. You've been watching Winning the West with me, your host, Eli Williams, here in Red Dead Redemption 2 Story Mode. You all have a great week and a great day, and I'll see you all next time.